I'm Garrett Cortez with Wakeboarding Magazine, and I'm sitting inside Centurion's brand new RI-265. That's right, 26 and a half feet. This is one of the biggest boats I've ever been in. It's definitely the biggest boat Centurion's ever made, and for a company that's known for making some of the best wakes and waves in the world, you know this thing produces. I'm excited to show you all of the killer new features in this boat, and later on, pro wake surfer Ashley Kidd, she's gonna show you how she sets it up for some awesome wake surfing. Like the boat itself, the helm of the RI-265 is all new. And center stage is what Centurion is calling their Revo side-by-side -side system. It features two 12-inch touchscreen displays. On the right-hand side is where you can access most of the boat's menus. You can scroll through the wake surf wave settings, ram fill settings, lighting settings, audio, pretty much anything you need to control on the boat, you can access it right there. On the left screen, it mainly displays your critical information like RPM, mile per hour, fuel, water temp, stuff like that. What I really like though is this trip function. Tap that and it gives you the boat's fuel consumption. I've never seen that in the water sports boat market before, but it's really showing you how much fuel the RI-265 is consuming and what your range is to get back to where you need to go. A few other killer features about Centurion's RI-265 helm, this all new steering wheel, it's comfortable and it looks great. I actually really like the anodized billet aluminum accents. They just add a nice like clean look to Centurion that it hasn't had in the past. This right here, wireless cell phone charger. You slip it into the cradle, it starts charging automatically and everything just looks really nice and clean which I really like. Also new for the 2021 RI-265 is this captain's chair. Not only is it comfortable, but it's power equipped so you can adjust it to fit pretty much any position you need. Scoot it forward, scoot it backward, it even leans back and it swivels into the cabin which is massive so you can converse with the rest of your friends. Up here in the bow of the RI-265, you've got plenty of space for hanging out and enjoying what the bow is all about, which is lounging. But what I really like is the fact that it's not too big. You might think on a 26 and a half foot boat like this that the tendency would be to make the bow even bigger, but it's never really needed. The bow's not used that much for that big of space. I really like that Centurion kept it this size and kept more space in the main lounge cockpit area where everybody's hanging out and watching the wake surf action. That being said, there's a ton of comfort here two killer wet sound speakers, cup holders for everything you're drinking, ports for charging whatever you need charged, and I still like the fact that behind this seat is access to all the storage behind the spotter seat. There's a couple key features in the new bow though that really have to get mentioned on this RI-265. First, you've got storage for your anchor right here that's easy to access. This little lighting accessory lights up when you turn on your courtesy lights, looks killer. And then this fiberglass step pad with soft deck flooring makes it really easy for stepping in and out of the bow of the boat. And that complements this part right here. Centurion has made this part of the nose bigger and added the soft deck flooring. So really, you have a sure step getting in and out of the boat. And on a boat this size, that's really important. Inside the cabin of the RI-265, you've got plenty of space for everybody. And I mean everybody. This thing's rated for 18 people, which means all your family and friends can probably come along and enjoy every day on the water with you. Under every seat is tons of storage, and each seat, which is new for Centurion this year, is hinged, so it makes getting in and out of that storage that much easier. What I really like about this cockpit on the RI-265 is that you've got dual sliding benches that you can option in this boat. So normally you'll get one, you can option for the second. That's how much room is in this boat. You can slide them fore or aft to whatever setting you want, put them both together and make a huge lounge, put one back, one forward, make it a bench, make the other one a table, do whatever you want, it's insane. Then on this rear slider, you've got the soft touch flooring on the fiberglass step, so you're not gonna break your seating or your upholstery when you step up and get to the transom of the boat. There really is just room for everything. Speakers throughout, cup holders throughout, anodized built aluminum accents just only add to the luxuriousness of the boat. And then up above, we've got Roswell's killer drop zone tower. Undo the locks, push a button, this thing drops nice and easy for storing, getting under low clearance bridges, and then this is the warrior package from Wet Sounds. You've got four Rev 10 speakers up top, plus each box houses an eight inch mid. That's six speakers. You're bumping some insane tunes, really enjoying your life on the water with this thing. And then you've also got the huge Bimini. Keep everybody comfortable in the shade from the hot sun. It's perfect for those long days on the water. The transom of the RI-265, like the boat itself, it's got a lot of new features. The one that stands out most to me are these flip up backrests. They really add to the lounge factor and luxuriousness of the RI-265, perfect for when you're beaching and just wanna you know, hang out. 
they fold down easy. I also really like the fact that you've got a nice walkthrough area so you're not stepping on the interior to get to the transom of the boat. And then right here, you've got a pop-up pylon for pulling a tuber, a skier, if they're the adventurous type and they want to ski on a 26 and a half foot boat, you can do it. I also like the fact that on the sides, you've got a little bit wider gunnel than some of Centurion's other boats. Gives you a sure footing for getting in and out of a boat like the 265. At the back of the RI-265, you've got Centurion's signature wake surf locker. This thing is massive. It holds an extra ballast bag if you really want to add some weight and jack up that wave, or it fits multiple wake surf boards. Obviously easy to access for when you're getting in and out of the water right here on the swim step. With the RI-265, it's built on Centurion's acclaimed Opti-V hull, but don't think of it as just a bigger version. They've totally redesigned the running surface to work perfectly with this 26 and a half foot boat. They've tweaked the Quick Surf Pro system and the Stinger wake plate so you can truly customize the shape of your wave even more. And here to show us how it's done is none other than Ashley Kidd. Hi, my name's Ashley Kidd. I'm four-time world champion for Centurion Boats, and right now I'm on the brand new RI-265, and you are not gonna believe the wave and wake on this thing, and I'm gonna show you how to set it up. So the first thing I like to do is fill the ram fill. I fill all of it 100%. The cool thing about ram fill is if the wave gets too big for your rider, it's super easy to adjust, and you can drain some of it in seconds. Another cool feature is the rider profile settings. Once you figure out how you like your wave setup, you can actually save it into the boat with your name, and that way you can just press your name each time and it sets up exactly how you like it. So if you have a beginner rider or an advanced rider, you can have completely different settings and you're not having to figure it out each time you go out and ride. The Centurion Stinger Plate allows you to customize the wave from mellow to steep. So you have a setting for skim style, surf style, any type of rider that wants to get behind this boat. If you put the Stinger Plate at 100, it's going to be mellow. And at zero, it'll be steep. And you have anywhere from zero to 100 to adjust the wave. What's really easy about the Stinger Plate is that you can actually control it from the paddles right behind the steering wheel, so you have really easy access to it. This is the biggest boat Centurion has ever made, and I highly suggest getting behind it because you will not believe it until you get on that wave. It is amazing. As you can see, the RI-265 is big, but it looks awesome too. I love the way Centurion's designed it with the lines. The billet accent aluminum right here looks really nice. This ram fill lights up when you turn on your courtesy lights. Everything about this boat, front to back, has been designed with a fine tooth comb and you really notice it when you get on the boat. And of course, the wakes and waves speak for themselves. Thanks to Ashley Kidd, world champion, for showing us how it's done back there. I'm Garrett Cortez with Wakeboarding Magazine. This is the Centurion RI-265.